This Saturday, the 16th of April, it's Record Store Day. We're being urged to dust off our vinyl from the 70s and 80s. But not only that, did you know that most artists are still releasing on vinyl? I've come to Love Music in Glasgow to check out their collection. Sandy Group Team, I'm Jerry. Oh, hi, Jerry. Thanks for having us in Love Music. My pleasure. Record Store Day. How big is it here in Scotland? Well, it's huge. Certainly in Glasgow, it's absolutely huge. You know, we've had we have hundreds of people lining up overnight uh, to come in here in the morning and buy the 500 exclusive new releases that we have. So, what sort of exclusives can people expect on Record Store Day? Well, there's a lot of vinyl. Vinyl's a big deal. So uh, there's a David Bowie picture disc of the Man Who Sold the World album, which looks great. There's a 7-inch of TVC 1.5, David Bowie, which is the 40th anniversary edition, which also looks great. Uh, there's a really nice Iron Maiden picture disc. There's a limited edition uh, Muse picture disc, and there's the Foles, and there's some good Scottish stuff too. The La Fontaine's have a really nice white vinyl single out in Record Store Day. Uh, there's over 500 things, so there's pretty much something for, for everybody, really. Now, one of our production guys at STV, Chris Warb, loves his vinyl. He actually has a signed copy of the Sonic Youth Sister album, which is rather impressive. You're Mr. Record Store in Glasgow. What's the catalogue number for this one? Oh, God, I know it's on Blast First Records, and I've got most of those. Let's see, Daydream Nation was BFFP 34. That came out before. BFFP 20, I think. Oh, my God, he's absolutely right. <laughs> the audio and the listening quality of vinyl. People say, like, you know, things just sound better. I listen to a lot of older records, a lot of the Supremes, some Stevie Wonder on vinyl, and for me, it just sounds more unique. Is that the case on modern music as well? Oh, yeah, the, the sound on vinyl is definitely better. You know, it, it's definitely... Uh, you, with vinyl, you actually get 100% of the audio spectrum. You know, you get, you get everything from zero to 100, where with CDs, it, it loses the top... 20% and the bottom 10%, so you're getting roughly 70% of the sound that was made. And it's quite clinical, it's zeros and ones binary numbers, where there's vinyl is an audio wave, an analog wave. Okay, we're not gonna go all high fidelity on you, we're not gonna ask you your top five records of all time, but what are some of the, your favorite records here in this store? Well, I guess being an old rocker, it would probably have to be The Clash, London Calling, you know, that's just a great record from end to end. But I also really love Scottish independent music, you know, some of the records I've really loved in the past kind of decade have been uh, albums by uh, Wooden Box, The French Wives, um, just a whole, a whole lot of lovely Scottish music. Andy, thanks so much for spending your afternoon with us. I think it's time now that I go and explore your record store. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Cheers. See you later.